Claude Couture is about leaving the hustle and bustle of the city behind, switching off your mobile phone and entering a universe of beauty, elegance and extraordinary craftsmanship. The haute couture market is an art form that seeks to marry ancient glamour with modern techniques, tradition with modernity, and the industry is worth billions of euros a year. For winter 2018-19, the focus is on seduction. Think flashes of leg and vertiginous heels. You're going to be surprised because this is possibly the most pared down collection I've ever done. There are jackets that are fastened up to the neck, some very long, wide trousers. You might say there's this sensuality, this insouciance that characterizes Parisian women. It's all about deciding what to show and what to conceal. Alexandre Vautier is a master of the genre. There are pleats, lace, feathers, there's black, white. There are all those codes that make up French elegance. But I've given it all a little twist. The influence of his friends, heroes and muses is never far away. You can see this David Bowie, uh, Deborah Harry influences and he's just, he's incredible and very sexy too. Rock and roll and sexy, so it's just... <laughs> Dutch designer Iris van Herpen enjoys collaborating with her fellow artists. She often reimagines sculptors' works into wearable works of art. I think it's very difficult with all the noise that goes on in the industry and all the kind of, to be able to block that out and to still have that creative spirit to be able to take something from the universe and from 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 the the universal Thing that is art, if you understand what I'm talking about. Iris van Herpen enjoys exploring the relationship between organic and inorganic materials, and that's the central idea behind Syntopia, a moving sculpture created by Studio Drift. It consists of 18 panes of glass which represent the 18 individual movements that enable a bird to flap its wings. So the whole show is about slowing down time and zooming in into a movement. Uh, as a previous dancer, I'm always fascinated by movement and I just start to dive deeper and deeper into this subject. So I really try to split the seconds like the installation does as well. Time is crucial to haute couture. Time to create beautiful, improbable pieces with scientific precision. Fabric innovation is Nordin Amir's passion. He's the first Moroccan couturier to receive an invitation to hold a Paris show from the Couture Federation. You don't simply decide to go into haute couture. Either you are couture or you're not. I tried to do ready to wear, but it didn't work. It was less exciting. So when I started producing my own materials, which takes a huge amount of time, I began to really have fun. Maurizio Galante's discipline, meanwhile, is more concerned with history. Models headwear evokes Roman garlands keeping a certain distance between skin and jewellery. They're made of organic materials, a fusion of flowers and vines. Artisanal production tells the story of a people, its roots and its strength. Half of this kaftan-inspired collection was made in Morocco, in collaboration with a cooperative for vulnerable women and children. For example, this kaftan is worn with a jacket made with a Japanese fabric that's entirely handmade by an artisan in Kyoto. You can see that Japanese precision and sophistication and those colours. It's so different from anywhere else in the world. That's what beauty is. That's the story I want to tell. Today we need that. We need emotion more than anything else. Alexis Mabi takes a more renegade approach. Haute Couture developed around the idea that certain occasions require certain modes of dress. Weddings, funerals and dinner parties all have their own unspoken uniforms. But Mabi doesn't think twice about changing the rules. I like mixing everything up. In the end, it's really all about the clothes' proportions. An evening dress or jacket can be worn over trousers and a t-shirt, and it makes it more relaxed. Or a simple daytime outfit can be worn with a sequin skirt and become very evening appropriate. There's no longer really a set distinction between cocktail and evening wear, even though we still talk like that. All couturiers have one thing in common. They love telling stories, often reinventing the great narratives of literature and cinema love, glory, deception and villainy. 
Julien Fournier named his winter 2018 collection Premier Crime or First Crime, an homage to Hitchcock heroines. Right now I think that no one really knows what haute couture is. This season I wanted to show through my work that a workshop's output isn't all about superfluous flashy embroidery, that it's about working to achieve real balance in the clothes, about the cuts, the drapery, really mastering the art. Julien Fournier loves fitted jackets, the way they embrace the body and their suggestion of restrained elegance. I really don't create fashion, I create characters, women with destinies who want to transform their lives. Haute Couture is a high-end luxury laboratory, the driving force behind so much innovation and experimentation. It's unaffordable for most, but beauty doesn't need to be owned to be enjoyed.